subscribe, but till next time, I'll see you then. I think my head just hit the roof. <laughs> Hey up guys and welcome back to the channel. So today we're going to be taking a ride out in Shaq's Stage 3 Golf R running 522 on Awesome's Dyno which is just behind me here if we can get it in shot. So we're going to be having a look, we're going to have a quick chat about the car, what he's done to it. I'm very much looking forward to this, it's been a long time coming. How long have you had the, the cartoon now Shaq? about six weeks six weeks so it's been like that for six weeks now he's got used to the power and um, i'd like to think so anyway <laughs> but we're going to go hop into the car you've just seen a bit of a bit of a shots around the car there we're going to hop in we're going to go for a drive and we'll talk about the car okay so we're in the car with shack you guys have seen shack on the channel before shack um works at lounge street garage who fit the jv4 on my car a lot of you have probably spoken to him before if you've been on the forum very very helpful we're going to be looking at your eco tune stage 3 golf r you've had it done for six weeks we've just heard a little bit packet there um talk to me a little bit about what you've had done to it well it's it's got the usual intake our racing line r600 running the turbo technics intake pipe mm. uh ngk racing plugs air tech intercooler uh scorpion turbo back all the way through resonated and valve auto tech high pressure fuel pump uh, and there's probably a few things I've missed out on there, mm. uh, but that's pretty much the yeah, essence of what's right. on the car. Did you get the low pressure fuel pump as well? Then no, it doesn't. It, it doesn't need it. Um, it's some cars do when the pumps are getting weak, uh, but mine's sufficiently. It's doing well, so it doesn't need to be repaired. It may eventually uh, if it starts weakening off. Yeah, but yeah, I think at the moment it is maybe getting big breaks. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so Shaq is running, what was it, 522 it ran on here? It's, it ran 522 here. So Shaq's just told me that it's running the V4 Turbo, which is Turbo Technics. Um, you've had that, I mean, they've applied it on quite a few cars, haven't they? There's quite a few guys in the group who've got these. Um, they're all running strong power. They're all running very, very good draggy times. And this is one thing that I wanted to ask you, Shaq, and I might be putting you on the spot a little bit here. With the man who sells all of the draggies, <laughs> have you done a draggy on this car yet? Uh, do you know, I have not done a drag on this car yet. Biggest, the biggest reason I haven't is because uh, I've, only got, I've got a two-year-old child. Yeah. So the only time I have free time is when I have it with my child. I mean, I'm, I'm working non-stop as well, yeah. so uh, no draggy times yet. Uh, it is something that I need to be doing. Uh, but maybe after done some brakes first. <laughs> yeah, brilliant. Yeah, yeah. You guys have just seen. He's got the uh, the the car seat in the back as well. So they're running a five door Golf R, five hundred and or just over five hundred brake horsepower with the car seat in the back. If that's not a family car that you want to drive, then I don't know what is. Right, guys. So we're just setting off now. Hopefully, you can hear the exhaust through the mic on the GoPro. Um, he's opened the valves a little bit, so we'll get a little bit of noise through there as well. I've never been in a stage 3 car, the only 500 plus brake horsepower car I've been in that's modified is John's M3 which is on the channel as well, uh, so I'll leave a link down below for you guys to go have a look at that. Um, I mean for the most part does it, does it tend to feel quite stock when you're at the lower RPM? It is yeah, so if we stick it in drive, it's, the way this way stands uh, map this is giving me a lot of low end below 3k, so a lot of big turbo struggle at below 3k. Mm. Um, but he's, he's, he's done his software, so at, at uh, driving normally, I still have plenty of stuff. I stick it in four, which is below three. He still has plenty of go. Uh, yeah. So for everyday driving, it's brilliant. On top of that, the, the APR TCU is very, very well suited to a big turbo. Okay. Because yeah. it keeps the revs always above um, 2K. You, you don't actually feel much of a lag as such. It's always keeping it above the, you know, above that point. 
you just feel quite stuck. I mean, I know Shaq's not barely gone through, you know, past 3,000 RPM, but you'd expect like a little bit of a pull, I think, anyway. But uh, yeah, I'm excited to, to feel what 500 brake horsepower feels like in a golf bar. Drive or manual mode. Is that yeah. I don't. Yeah. It pulls like it, like third gear. Right. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. It just 
the, the power doesn't seem to reduce because there's just so much power and torque continues to it. It's, uh, but yeah, it's very, there's not many roads you can go out and use it in. Um, you run out of road very, very quickly. Yeah, I mean, this is only running two bar, just over two bar, yeah. 2.050, I think it's running at. Right. And it, and it tails off to 1.9. Um, so we're not pushing the turbo's capable of easily doing 2.4 bar. Yeah. Uh, there are some tuners who do push at 2.4 bar. Um, but one of Stan's biggest philosophies is is that we do everything but safely. Yeah. So you know we're not out there chasing the big numbers. You know my torque's 440 foot pounds uh, because he wants he wants longevity. Yeah. Uh, and and that's what it's about for me to go out and not to worry about the car, just to drive it as hard as I want. Uh, and not having to worry about anything. That's his, and that's one of the biggest things that attracted me to go with EcoTune because that philosophy goes for me goes a long way. So one question that I've got for you and probably a lot of the people watching will be from the Facebook group, the forum, and anyone else who happens to stumble on this video. If you do have a Golf R, an S3, a TTS, or anything along them lines, what would you recommend someone's first mod to be? <laughs> first mod? Uh, Res Delete and JB4, yeah. always, because it was all, it was my first mod and we see a lot of new new owners come to our garage and the first mods are always Res Delete and JB4. Yeah. It gives you the sound. Same as what I did to be Same as what you did, yeah. It gives you the sound and gives you the, the power. But yeah. what I will say, once you do get a JB4, it's a little bit like a... Uh, uh, it's, it gets a bit addictive. You get used to that power and you just want more. Um, it's, 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 it's amazing how you go from a... I mean, I went from... I thought JB4 was enough. And then you go in stage one, stage two, and then now suddenly now I'm in stage three. Yeah. Got nowhere to go really now. <laughs> I would say you you be you gone from the whole way like your car was stock what was it a couple of years ago when you bought it or something? Just under two years ago, yeah. 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 Uh, and then I never ever planned to do anything to the car. I, 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 I actually bought this for a family car because I've just had a little and I know what it's something that was fun but also practical. <laughs> well it's very fun and I think it's very practical as well as you can see with the baby seat. Yeah. So what's next for you then Shaq? What, where, where, where would you go from here? I know it's hard to say because you haven't got that in mind, you've just had it done stage three but if you were to do something else, where would you go? Uh, in terms of this car or another car? Um, whichever way. Well, at the moment, next thing that has to be on this has to be big brakes. Uh, yeah. Because after a couple of hard, hard braking, it just it just kills them. Uh, and you you pretty much pin to the back of your seat. Yeah, you are, yeah. Every every gear. And I mean, I've parked it here so we can do a launch control oh, and, really? and, and show you what it's like when it's launching. Oh. Um, yeah. <laughs> uh, but yeah, it's genuine. It's a genuinely quick car. There's there's not a lot that will keep up with it really. Uh, but not only is it just quick, it's a very capable car as well. Yeah. You, know, you can you can you can, you can hit the bends quick. You can. You can it doesn't seem to when you when you're doing ridiculous speeds in Mexico, it doesn't seem to sort of go out of control and things. Very very capable. Yeah. How is you running this car then? Did I see there were good years? The good years? year F1 asymmetric fives. Are uh, they the new ones? The new oh, yeah no the new they've, they've released the asymmetric fives and they've released I think it's Super Sport or something like that yeah. which is Aaron Whiffin's got that. Uh, but I'll be honest here, these tyres are by far the best tyres I've had on any car. Oh, really? So when we went to Scotland a couple of weeks ago. I was hitting some of their bends very, very hard, and it, it, not once did it ever let go. It's the thing with the golf, though, isn't it? I, I worked this out. When I first got my golf, I was taking it, um, and I was going for a, like you go, go around for a hoon, don't you? But um, if, you're, if you're not sure with the golf, and if you t start taking your throttle off and you're sort of feathering it, it does get a little bit. Yeah. A little bit shaky, yeah. doesn't it? Yeah, it can but do that, yeah. After a little bit of time driving it, and when you do drive it hard, you realise, just keep your foot in it, and it'll just carry you around. <laughs> yeah. It's really, it's a really odd feeling, and obviously that's the Haldex system, and I, I've always said since I first drove one back um, when the first release, I think it was 2000, or well, the end of 2013, beginning of 2014, and I've never gone round a roundabout so quickly. <laughs> no. I, I couldn't believe it, my brain was at this side of the car, and I was over there. They're just such a capable car, this, and this is what, you know, there's a lot of people in the group who say, oh, they're boring. I mean, I don't, maybe in a straight line because it's very, very capable, but when you can hit a bend at 80 mile an hour and it doesn't flinch, yeah. uh, to me, that's that's quite fun, you know. I mean, I, I, it'd be different, I'm, like I said, I'm looking at an M2, it'll be a bit odd for me to not be able to do that. Yeah, try but, that on an M2, <laughs> <what happens>. Yeah, I'll <laughs> <laughs> we'll be facing the way I came. Um, <laughs> And you don't have to be a good driver to be able to drive these quick. No, no. I mean, I've always said, you know, you, you've got... A lot of people compare these, compare these to, like, the 135 and the 145i's. Um, the 145, or the 140i, rather, is like a lump hammer. You yeah. know, it's rear-wheel drive, it's got a lot of power, and, you know, they are quicker than the Golf in stock form. 
and sometimes it's stay in your own form depending on, yeah. on, on what the golf is. Um, now, when you look at the, the Golf R, it's more of like a surgeon's needle <laughs> or surgeon's scalpel or whatever you want to call it because it just does what you need it to do. And it's almost too good. Yeah. And that's why I think people call them boring because they just do everything that you want them to do with no fuss. That's it. This is why I think as, as a stock car, you know, you think when I first bought this, I thought 300 horsepower is, 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 is they were. It was the highest power car that I've purchased. Yeah. So you expect a lot with that. But then actually when you get in it and go and, and drive, you go, wow, this doesn't feel as quick as you think it's going to feel. But mm -hmm. it is quick. Um, but you just don't notice it. But I do think you do need either a JB4 or a Stage 1 tune, or so Stage 2, just to wake these up. Because, yeah, they yeah, are, yeah. because they are so capable. I think once you start uh, adding that to, to the car, then it's live enough to get a bit more exciting. You can get it twitching very, very slightly. And they're just reliable as well with them bars on as well, aren't they? They're exactly, not, yeah. It's all done within the parameters of the JB4. I'm not going to buy on a bar JB4 here. If you want to go see, we'll, we'll link a video to, to when I went over to Shack to get it fitted. Uh, really good time. I've loved the car ever since, to be fair. There's a lot of stuff. Um, lots of stuff I've done with the car. You've seen the draggy stuff, so it's only a credit to the JB4 as well. Yeah, it's, uh, it's like a gateway drug, really. <laughs> yeah, it is. <laughs> yeah. <thing>. An enabler. <laughs> yeah. Right guys, so you're going to see my camera here, we're doing a bit of a launch here, so ESC is off, foot down on the brake, when we've got a bit of space that is. What the map's doing, what the 
extra hardware is doing. Um, and then when you get to a point where you can sort of, like Ryan has done with his, put the cooling parts on and you know sort of preempt more power, um, it works out quite well. You can then advise others. Uh, you, you know the differences between all the stages that you've done, and you can also recommend, you know, what's the best more to do at what point. Uh, I mean, for me. And, and a lot of guys who do the same go for a sticky stage. Uh, we can tell you about all our experiences and what we've had uh, to the people who are trying to get into into tuning. What was that? Was that a bird? I don't know, but it smacked off your body. <laughs> yeah. Okay, that was a little bit odd, wasn't it? I think it was. Yeah, it must have been. It wasn't anything big though, in terms no. of heavy. No, it was only a little tiny, wasn't it? Um, that's one thing that I said, you know, when way back when, when I got the Res Delete done, you know, I, I, I was sort of prowling the Golf R owner, uh, Owners Club, the, the forum and the Facebook group for a little while before getting in, getting the car or getting anything done. But seeing the amount of advice, the amount of support that you and you know, the other admin and the other people who've done all the work themselves and, and things like that, it's really refreshing to see. And I know we've spoken about it a couple of times before, haven't we? Um, but it's not like any other group that I've been in. No, it's a very, very friendly group. I mean, uh, the, the, the UK Master Seminars group is, is is huge. There's like nine and a half thousand members now. Uh, and there's only, I think there's only five or five or six of us that are admins who have to look after all, all of that. But, uh, you know, the aim is just to make sure that everyone gets a good experience. And I think the people that are in the group, you know, uh, as members, a lot of them are just there, uh, want to help out as well, who want to take advice on. They're all sort of the same mindset. I mean, I try to help as many people as I can. Because you know, giving advice doesn't cost anything. Yeah. Uh, it just helps the next person. Uh, and I think it's good to get these sort of other guys on board in the scene and getting enthusiastic and being part of it all. So I think that's what makes the group so good. Yeah, definitely. Uh, yeah, it's just a big community, isn't it? The, the, the floor from the turbo, <laughs> you can hear it all the time, can't you? Yeah, yeah. it's unbelievable. Yeah, it's, um, I, do, I do like that, it's the way it sounds. It's not too much either, is it? It's no. not like... No, I, I, because I've got a close intake, the R600, it, it keeps it quite, sort of quiet, quieter. Right, so we've, we've had a bit of time in the car now. Um, like I said, the power is incredible. I, I, I can't... I can't stress enough, and it's hard to say through a video, um, but take it from me, you know, my car does, it did a 0 to 16 3.75, but this car is incredibly quick. So, Jack, just before we head head back to, to Awesome GTI, um, tell us a little bit about Lamb Street Garage. Plug yourself. <laughs> well, we're just, we're just a small garage in, uh, in Bolton uh, that a lot of people seem to know now, uh, from mainly through social media. Um, hugely passionate about about the the back back cars. Um, look, you know me and there's the few other guys that are there. We're all we're all into the scene. Uh, love our cars. Um, and the big part of it is is that uh, we're enthusiasts who like to work on the cars. Uh, and then when we get people coming over to see us, we love seeing the cars coming in. We love working on them, taking pictures, sticking them on our Facebook or Instagram. Um, and it's great. I mean, it's been a great sort of couple of years for us since we're since we've become much more well known, uh, and, and we hope that carries on and just uh, we can just carry on the work that we've been doing for, for the last well last few years. So, if you guys are interested in the Res Delete or the JB4 or any of the parts for the BMW, uh, I think all the parts are on bolt on ones as well now. So we're now racing line dealers, yeah. uh, Air Tech dealers, uh, Scorpion dealers, uh, Miltech. Uh, so quite a lot of the big brands we've got on board now, uh, and then anything else that you see, you know, we, we've got good links now. We, we're awesome as well. So if there's anything that any the customers need, we, we can easily get hold of. Uh, so yeah, it's so a lot of the big brands are on are on there now. Really, uh, very proud of that. Great stuff. And I'll I'll drop a link down to the Bolton mods. Was that a play on word, by the way? Bolt, <laughs> Bolton mods, Bolton mods. <laughs> well, or did it just happen? It, well, this site actually started off with a friend of mine who lives in Ireland. Okay. Uh, his name's Simon, and he actually had was bolt on mods, uh, and then we and him have got quite friendly over over the last you know sort of twelve months, and I just jumped on board with that site, and then we sort of expanded it to sort of vaccines. It was mainly uh, being done with, but yeah, coincidentally, <laughs> yeah, it works out quite nicely. Yeah. Anyway. Yeah, a lot of people ask the same question. <laughs> But I'll leave a link down below to that website down there. Um, we're just going to be going back to Awesome GTI now. 
Um, it's been an absolute blast. The car is incredible. And here we go again. If you enjoyed this video, like and subscribe. But until next time, I'll see you then. I think my head just hit the roof. <laughs>